Hi, hey, hi, hello, welcome back, Stardew Valley. What the fuck was I doing here? Pretzel Rocks, you gotta go down. You gotta go down to 20. I'm sorry. That is too loud. Ugh. I don't know. So much that's been on my mind lately is like... There are people I want to kiss that I can't kiss because they don't live near me. There are people I want to go on cute dates with and I can't because they don't live near me. That's just the story of my life. Story of my life. And it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Like, it's, it's a minor irritation. When I was younger, oh my god, I used to hyper fixate on it and it would drive me fucking insane. And particularly now, because I do have some money. Not a lot of money, kids. I, I am down to uh, four digits in the bank, uh, and I have been down to four digits in the bank for a while, like I've been expressing. I've talked about how much my rent is and how much generally I spent per month, and I've talked about that I have two, maybe three months of expenditure runway left before I, like, definitely have to have a job. So, you math wids out there, if you want to pull out the receipts, you can figure out roughly how much I have in the bank based off of those statements. And, you know, Godspeed, if you do. I, I have no problem with that. I'm just not going to come out and say it because I, I don't want to. Not like I'm really worried about my uh, uh, security. I just don't want to. Like, it, it sucks. Even, even like, platonically. My, my good friend Grovatron, who is in chat right now, I would love to go visit. I would rather he visit me, but I would love to go see him and see that god-awful town that I'm so glad that I moved away from and see some other people there and be reminded probably after a few days of being there why I left and then just trying to stick it out because I miss my friends, but actually like really hating it and being very glad to be home, just like I did with Arizona. And I had planned to go there, but I didn't end up doing it. There are there are people I would like to see in Indiana, like Old Flames or Exes, and being like, hey, is anything going on here? How are you doing? Do we still have a spark? That could be fun to see and explore. Probably not though, and it'd just be nice to see you. And that's, that, that sounds really sweet and nice. And we don't we don't have to make a big thing out of things. Do I still have some fucking strawberry seeds? Hello, dear. Hello, Granny. Oh, scrops only grow in one season. Thank you, tutorial Granny. Thank you. Do I keep these? Nah, fuck it. Sell it. Sell the unmilled rice. It's probably a waste. I don't care. Eat it. Yeet it. Yeet it. Yeet it. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Um, Alright, what are we doing with our time? We're gonna go do the rounds. And then we're probably back in mine town. <laughs> the three numbers on the back, give them to us. Uh, No. No. No, thank you. The, the shitty thing is, like, there are people who I've been like, hey, if you visit me, you can stay with me. I will, like, take you out and treat you. You really only have to pay for the plane ticket. And it's not a matter of money at that point. It's a matter of they can't get the time off from work. I hate capitalism so much. It's like, like hey, you're somebody who means a whole fucking lot to me. And Nate, unfortunately, this does not extend to you. You cannot stay with me unless we are being intimate because I live in a very small apartment and I love you, buddy, but I have no interest in being intimate with you. Which, shocking, I know. Um, so, you know, that, that invitation I mentioned has only been, you know, given to uh, a small number of people. So have you done the thing where you give materialistic gifts to everyone so they want to smash in game? No, not in game, not yet. I've given a couple of things to the mayor, which he was un unthrilled about. <laughs> I, man, uh, 
I'm I'm probably getting a job soon. Probably. I keep putting it off because I don't I don't have to do it yet. And I don't wanna do it unless I have to do it because working sucks and I don't want to be stuck in that situation again. Even though, you know, you can leave a job at any time and working would give me money so I could leave that job and it's really not something to be that worried about, but meh, meh, meh. Hmm. Uh, it, I love this city. But a consequence of that is there's a lot here I'm really excited about and I really enjoy. And I'm, I love sharing with people and I want to share with people who have been important to me in my life. And then y'all motherfuckers can't live here because it's too expensive because I can barely live here. And I get it. But still sucks. Still sucks. I mean, it's kind of getting expensive everywhere. I would love to have the kind of money where I could be like, hey, person from... I mean, there, there are two of you in chat, so I'm using both of you. Person from Argentina, I, I can pay to fly you anywhere. Dude from Indiana, I can I can pay to fly you anywhere, right? Like, that'd be, that'd be very nice. It's very gratifying. I like giving things. There's a sex joke in there. There's a sex joke in there. There's a pretty obvious sex joke in there. I'm, you know. Particularly because I just got done talking about extensively uh, liking, giving, and taking. Um, we go north and around. and Did we even go to the mine? I mean, it's late. We're, no, 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 no. We go through this way. We go to the beach. Then we go to the mine. Then we come back down for the route north. Alex out here giving these nuts. I mean, if that's what you want from me, I meant more like, you know, the, the pleasure of my company, but I mean, if you're going to sexualize me like that, that's that's on you. That's on you. I'm not going to misconstrue what you said. No. Good, good, yes. It's salmon berry season. Okay, I've lived in the Pacific Northwest for damn near six years. No, it's actually been six years. I still have not had a salmon berry. There, man. So, okay, okay. We, we've talked about this a little bit in the past, but it's been a while. I do not know how to walk the line when streaming or when watching somebody else's stream, unless I already know the person. How much flirting is okay? How much flirting is not okay? Where's the line? When is it too much? Right? Like, you don't want to make somebody feel obligated to continue on a conversation. You also don't want to make it weird so they call you out. I tried it. <laughs> Fucking bench skip. Hell yeah. I... I'm very open to being flirted with on stream. And I am happy to flirt back with people. It dep if I'm actually interested in the person, right? If I'm actually having fun with flirting. If I'm not... I'm probably just going to deflect and, you know, politely decline. If I'm in somebody else's stream, I... I don't know. I, like, I don't think that I have ever been like, hell yeah, let's flirt with the streamer, because, I don't know, you know, there's a lot of folks deal with a lot of sexual harassment on Twitch anyway. And yeah, no, I guess I only do it if the, uh, if I know the other person already. Because, like, Amy, when Amy streams, which is very rare, but she used to do it a lot, and I miss her streams. I miss her streams, but she's teaching a lot, and she's very busy. Amy used to tease the fuck out of me when I was streaming, which was very fun. And it's, it's very rare for people to be able to flirt with me or tease me in a way that gets me to be quiet. She can do it. She can do it, and she's... She shouldn't have that power, is, is what I'm trying to say. God should not have given her that power. It is not fair. It ain't right. Should be illegal. 
I'm killing the sexy. Yesterday I was reading about Argentine video and learned we already had one company commit. Oof and yikes, do the crunch. No, no, I'm, I'm sticking on this topic. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to be sad. <laughs> this has been a largely positive stream so far. I've doomered once. Wait. No, I haven't doomered once. I bitched about capitalism. I've talked about wealth disparity. I've talked about life being a living hell. But it's all had a vaguely positive, somewhat romantic spin to it today. And by God, I am not backing down from that. I'm not backing down from that. <laughs> today's, today's a weird one and I want to keep it. I, I have no desire to catch fish, Willy. I have no desire to do that. Ugh. Oh. Oh, yeah, only a few people really have the capacity to really shut me down. Um, Amy. Jubilee. Might be it. Might be it. Um, I'm running slowly in my brain through the list of people. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Yeah, I think it's only like two or three people. <laughs> there goes your Make Alex Doomer daily mission. I do it on my own. It's it's too easy. It's too easy. No points today. No points today. I, I, you know, there are people who I know could do it to me, but don't know that they have that power. And they'll never know. They'll never know unless they do it, and then they'll know, but they'll never know because it's not something I will openly share with someone. I will never relay to someone that they have that power. Mm-mm. 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 No. No way in hell. It's not- it's not even hard is the fucking thing, and that's what's so goddamn infuriating about it. It's- it's not hard to tease me into... Just being a dumb, not clever puddle. Not hard. Just just gotta know. I'm the horny mod who says funny. I horny post in most of the Twitch streams you watch. Yeah, you've talked about that before. And I, you know, obviously love and respect it. Uh, there, there are different kinds of horny posting, right? Some, some types of horny posting. other types of horny posting no 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 and it mostly it mostly comes down to like respect right like i was watching a stream the other night and twitch chat just like immediately came in and was like hey you a dyke and like what the fuck kind of person are you where you walk into a room don't introduce yourself, don't engage with the streamer at all, and just like, hey, you like pussy? Nah, dude, that's not how you talk about sexual topics. That's not how you feel out somebody's sexual orientation. Probably the reason this fucking loser was asking is because it's one of those dumbass incels that think that if they aggressively flirt with and sexually harass hot lady streamer, that hot lady streamer will for some reason want to have sex with them? I don't understand young men. I don't. I don't understand young men and the way they try to engage with women on this platform. Or any platform, really, but particularly this platform because it's... You can... You can see the body language. My dude, you can see how the words you are using is making somebody else feel and like crawl out of their fucking skin. In what world do you think this is a winning strategy? Don't know. Don't know. And then you get oh god, I, I hate I hate social media. No, I'm not I'm not gonna not doing it. Not doing it. Not doing it. We're being vaguely positive. Vaguely positive today, Alex. We're we're gonna be romantic about things. We're gonna be like low-key horny about things. Not like actively horny, but like talking about horny subjects. We're gonna We're gonna we're gonna Praise Jesus! <laughs> I'm not gonna go on. Just a race underage people. 
Or at least from the platform, but then the platform wouldn't be profitable anymore, right? Do... Do you two follow me on Twitter? I don't think Nate's on Twitter. A premier little hand holder. You mentioned should I post on Twitter. And if you follow me, you don't have to say yes. If you follow me, I have no idea who the fuck you are on Twitter, which is a magical power and you should not give me that power. Nate is. Really? I think it, you might. I might just be an asshole. Maybe? Man, I don't remember where I engage with people. But, but having... I check your Twitter every once in a while. Okay, okay. You, you just gave up so much mystery. Because... The great things about the internet is the anonymity of like, do I, do I fucking know this person? Is they do it? Do I, do I not? Who the fuck? Is, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck is this? Right? It's kind of fun. I've been doing that lately because I've had, um, someone go on my Instagram and like a lot of like thirst traps and I'm like who the fuck is this person I don't know this person I know that person I know that person but they're going by a name and they're um I haven't talked to them in like damn near a decade and I'm like huh okay well you know thank you but also like how do, how do I engage with you person I used to know who's thirsting Mr. Bird Social Media CEO, I just want to look at the furries. You can! Make a make a furry account. There are many furries. I am not one of them, but, you know, I do follow quite a few of them. Nah. And a few of them. Not even quite a few. Not even a handful. A few furries. Yes. But only a few. See, all motherfuckers have some very bad takes sometimes. Very bad takes. The, the furry to crypto fash pipeline in the United States is a bamboozling nightmare. Oh, the, the cat's name, by the way, it's Chairman. That's Chairman Meow. We, we stand Chairman Meow in this stream, in this house. Social media has, has facilitated creeping in a very weird way. Like, I don't mind somebody I haven't talked to in a decade being like, hmm, Alex hot. Yeah, okay, cool. Just say it to me, coward. I'll probably fuck you. Not generally. Most of you know that particular person. Yes. Yes, absolutely would. Absolutely would. But don't, don't make me be like, hey, long time no talk. Ha ha funny running into you here. If you're the one adding me, you start it. Don't do that to me. Have a good night, Nate. I, I hope me yelling indignantly about things that really aren't that consequential is, uh, you know, if not serotonin, at least uh, been somewhat enjoyable. <laughs> Who would win? Furry into skinhead pipeline or anime into anime into rapist pipeline? God, anime profiles are horrifying, aren't they? If you see an anime profile pic of an anime girl that is actually a thousand-year-old dragon, you know you're getting into some real bad territory. Real bad territory. Also, why the fuck is that a whole ass genre? Mm, no, no. She's actually 10,000 years old and an eternal serpent. Ha ha. So, it's just Japanese libertarians. I don't, I don't, don't like it. Don't like it. Oh, the Twitter is hell. Twitter is the bad place. And I'm I'm happy to be there. I'm happy to be there cuz every every social media site sucks. But on Twitter there's like pretty people who I like who like me. 
Now I guess also on other sites, but it feel good when people like Thirst Trap. Uh, Instagram does the same thing. It, it feel good when me feel sexy and people be like, yeah, sexy. Facebook, uh, Facebook is just a messaging service for me at this point. I stay out of it out of obligation because I don't want my family to think that I hate them and I also don't want to call them and I don't want to text them, so that's probably the best way to keep a hold of them. But like, god damn it, I, like, my, I know my mom follows me on Twitter, at least, and my dad, I think, follows me on Instagram, and like, I don't really want you... I don't want the thought of like, well, you know, my parents are probably seeing these thirst traps. I don't want that thought. I mean, it's on them. They're following me. But like, just, just, just let me be horny on main without feeling quietly judged for it. Please, please. I, God, I cannot imagine the logistical, for me, it's a logistical nightmare imagining, uh, getting multiple Twitter accounts, like, ooh, this is my NSFW account. Just grow a spine and be horny on main. Nobody really cares, and if they do, fuck them. They're, they're, or, you know, don't, alternatively, but... Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Be horny on main. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's really not a big deal. Let's see if you can translate a funny about libertarians. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm open to it. Oh God, what's happening? Skip, that's what's happening. We don't do cutscenes. I played enough of this game. Everybody's twerking out, hello. Do I buy? We're more than halfway through the end of the season, right? And none of these are spring and summer plants, to my recollection. Well, okay. No, cauliflower takes 12 days. That would end on the 28th. I'm not rolling those dice. I don't know that they'd actually be done. Parsnips will sure as fuck be done. I don't think the bean starters will pay themselves. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not risking it. I'm just saving them up for summer. I want to make, like, a... For, for most streamers, if they wanted to do a Halloween, uh... Thirst stream, you know, there's lots of sexy... Insert title outfits you can go with. But the real secret for premarital handholder would be having a uh, goat stream. It'll never happen. It'll never happen. Feet stream? Unlikely. Cloven hoof stream? Mmm, now you're thinking. Now you're thinking. That's the good shit. That's, that's the good shit. I'm laughing because I, I imagined uh, in the course of two people having intercourse, uh, one person asking the other one to bath for them or make, you know, I'm not mocking you. I'm not mocking you. This is not kink shaming. But I do find it very funny. Very funny. I don't, I don't get the animal sound during sex thing, like, bark for me. I, I guess, I guess that I get that it's, a. Uh, degradation thing, maybe, but, like... <laughs> Who wants somebody up in their ear all bark, 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 woof, woof, woof? I don't... I... No. No. Honey, no. Come on. That's not... That can't be real. Why would you... Why would you ruin a good moan with animal sounds? Because furries, Alex. Because furries. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess. Alex, clearly you haven't been with enough trans women to tell somebody meows during sex. 
you know, I haven't dated any cat girls. You're right. You're right. Not opposed. For the record, I'm not opposed. I'm not as into cat boys and cat girls as so many people seem to be. But, you know, I'm not opposed. But no, no, I have not. What am I, what am I running into? Nobody has been all up in my ear like, yeah, during sex. Nope. Mm -mm. Can't say that's ever happened. Ah, uh, ah, uh, streamer kink shames. Canceled, canceled, canceled. How, you can't cancel that which was never live in the first place, motherfuckers. You can't cancel me, nobody cares. I fear now, having said what I just said, were I to have sex with someone who had overheard or heard this epiphany of mine, if I were being domed, they would try to make me make animal sounds because I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's just going to ruin the scene for the both of us and nobody's walking away from that happy. I will... I want to say I won't do it. I want to say I won't do it. I want to say I wouldn't do that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I might. I might. I just really don't want to do it. It's like calling someone daddy, right? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. But maybe, maybe, almost certainly no, but I can think of two people. Maybe, maybe. And you'd never guess who. They, they would probably guess who because they know me and have I have a general impression for that. You know what? No, earlier I said there are three people who can make me shut the fuck up. Two or three people. I'm confident that it's at least three. But I didn't hold them in the same classification because they've never teased me not in person. But Jesus Christ, yes. Some people can shut me down. Okay. Translated funny I'll read once we go to bed for the night. This is a small paragraph. I'm in interested but I do be glancing I do be glancing when those Corvo now fuck Corvo no not Corvo real people real people you know the number the number is two that I yeah, probably would um, it could probably go higher because I talked about three people being able to make me just shut the fuck up. Really, if you can, if you can, um, tease me and turn me on in that way, there's not much that I would say no to at that point. There are hard lines, uh, right? And we don't need to get into them because, uh, we don't need to get into them. But yeah. 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 Yeah, but God. Somebody calling me daddy? No. No, no. 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 Don't. Just fucking don't. Just, just don't. Don't. Absolutely do not. I... Not just for... Okay. Probably largely for gender dysphoria reasons, I do not want to be called daddy. <sighs> but also, I don't like it in a partner when they think that acting infantilized is sexy. Age play is a big turn off. Baby play is a big turn off. What'd you do for a Klondike pussy? <sighs> ah, 
Okay, all right, let's read the joke. Uh, libertarian politician gives an interview and asks, asks what he thinks about the age of consent. Well, clearly it should be the same as the age of criminal responsibility. If we can't trust children not to break the law, why should we trust them to consent? The reporter then asks about the age of criminal responsibility and the libertarian says, they know their ABCs, they can read the law. Yeah, I mean, it's a joke, but it's, it's not a joke. Libertarians do be awfully concerned about the age of consent. Disturbingly concerned about the age of consent. Is, is a teenager, like when I was 15 or 16, I cared about the age of consent because I didn't want it to be illegal for me to be having sex, right? And also like, I had hots for teacher and I, we, I've been kink shamed in this chat before, being like, yes, I, as a, if I'm the student, I find a teacher student dynamic sexy. No, it's not something I've done. Now I'm too old. I would have done it. Is it unethical? Yeah, I get the power dynamic problems. I get the consent problems. I, I think that any adult engaging with Anyone who isn't me is a minor is like there's some deeply disturbing stuff going on there in college. I don't know, probably still not okay because again, the power dynamic that one person holds over the other leads the way is the gate to some pretty abusive situations. Oh my god, damn, dude, I had some incredibly attractive teachers like. One was a student teacher in college, and the class was on gender and sexuality. And she had a very sexy voice. And every time we were talking about theory, it, it was a critical theory class too, so, you know, I, I'm already horned up. Um, she would talk about teasing it out whenever we were talking about or discussing a subject or digging in deeper to a subject she always described it as teasing it out and there's no way there's no way that was not intentional i like maybe it wasn't but that drove me fucking insane drove me goddamn insane but i'm an adult with control over my mind and my body my body's telling me yes, but my common sense said no, no, you know, just because she's very attractive and she seems to be speaking in a way that's like incredibly sexual, you're probably just misreading it. And it's not particularly directed at you, so even if it is a thing, it could just be a general flirtatious vibe, and within the confines or context of this particular scenario, it's not something you can engage with, dog. So just like be horny and do nothing about it. Think everyone who is an ace wanted to bang a teacher at some point? I God, I hope so. I mean, I, I know that's a weird thing to say, but like, I hope that this feeling that I have is not that uh, unassailable and difficult. Like I had, I for other people to understand, I had, an incredibly attractive art teacher when I was like in junior high in high school. No, 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 not fair, not fair, not fair. Probably not fair for, you know, attractive teachers either. Uh, particularly if their students are trying to flirt with them or being like, Yo, Mr. D, show me that dick! Or, Yo, Miss Whatever! Is, uh, is there a Mr. Whatever? <laughs> like, yes, that's inappropriate, but... <sighs> I'm the... Oh, okay, here, I'm a class trader. I'll admit it, I'm a class trader. If I have a... Girl bosses do it for me. Girl bosses do it for me. Um, a cishet dude, or a cis dude being a boss pisses me off. Lady girl bossing? No, 
No, it does it for me. It does it for me. And I hate it. I hate it. I, like, absolutely... get very conflicting feelings about many of my attractive, um... employers, particularly female employers. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's sure as fuck something I've never acted on, and it's something that, God willing, I will never act on. Yo, Miss B, does the B stand for booba? Am I right? Ha ha ha. Oh, God, that's terrible. I mean, it's... It's, it's funny, but the fact that that shit is actually said to people is just... fucking infuriating. Fucking infuriating. I, it's it's a pretty easy to understand attraction and kink, right? Confident people who are in a position of power over me who I feel safe or comfortable with or actually like. Yeah, nope, I'm, I'm open to a lot of things there and I might want a lot of things there. Ah, damn you capitalism and your unethical means of production. If only it were a commune or, or a co-op, then it wouldn't make me a class traitor to be hot for boss. Then it would just be sexy for comrade or coomer for comrade. You were extremely, extremely gay for your high school teacher in history. It, I... I read that as high school teacher in history. My brain is fucked. Uh, history teacher in high school. Haha, <laughs> 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 you know, I know something, a little something about history myself. I, my history teachers did not do anything for me. They, they were all dudes. One had a reputation for being a little... He never did anything, but the way he looked at young women, or... I, there was just something... There was a yellow flag, let's say. There was a yellow flag on the field. It wasn't a red flag, but, like... It gives you some pause. It gives it gives you some pause. There is... There seriously is a very real double standard when it comes to people who have been convicted of sleeping with students uh, with you know this attitude that women get away with it and men don't get away with it and I don't really want to dig into the veracity of that but it does seem to be a thing that a lot of people believe I don't know I'm, I'm happy to leave that kink forever in the past because I will never be young again and it will never be relevant again. God, God help me if I become young again. God help me if I become young again. That'd be terrifying. <laughs> That'd be fucking horrifying. It'd be cool in like the power trip, like, oh, I know so much now. I can do everything different or be like real smart or like whatever. But then that time, that... That puts us dangerously in the uh, anime category that I was dunking on. That puts me in, you know, 100-year-old dragon in jailbait body territory. Poli Sci teacher was essentially you with a beard and obsession with vests. Um, I noticed you said nothing about having the hots for your Poli Sci teacher, so I'll just take that as a... Uh, prescriptive assignment that I am doomed to become a formerly attractive poli sci teacher. <laughs> I, I kill me if I start teaching poli sci. Kill me, please. I, political science in the United States, at least, is just a lie. It's 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 just bullshit. It's it's lib cringe horseshit and it's terrible it's terrible i don't want to be the hot professor i don't i don't want to do that i don't ever want to be in that position um i don't want to role play that i don't want anything to fucking do with that i want it far away from me T 
Team Boy was like, damn, you weird, but... Te what is wrong with my brain? My I'm being dyslexic today. Team Me was like, damn boy, you weird, but adult me would love to dominate. Well, you know. Do it, coward. Uh... <laughs> Uh, how we doing this? Hell yeah, this way. Yeah, no. No, me no teach. I think I'd be a very good teacher. I just don't want to be around kids. And if I am around kids, I want to, like, radicalize the living fuck out of them. He has a girl boss wife now. Damn. Wish that were me. Not the wife thing. Girl boss. Partner? Yeah. Singular wife. Marriage still is something that doesn't feel right for me. Um, I could change my tune on that. And there have been points in my life where I felt differently about it. But marriage. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh god. There's a there's a fine line between horny and down bad. I don't want to go into down bad territory. I don't want to I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. This is not a down bad stream. This is not a doomer stream. I have not to my knowledge had a down bad stream and I ain't fucking doing it. Marriage for tax benefits only. Yeah, I, I could work with that. I could work with that. Why, why no Dami GF for Alex? Why no? Why no, huh? Why no? Why not? Well, okay, Ob obvious answer? Uh, because of the behavior I was describing myself as engaging in earlier, i.e. just like ghosting dating sites immediately, COVID's a pretty big thing. Uh, where I've been working has mostly been with older co-workers who are definitely not into me. Uh, and my social circles haven't really run around people my age, unfortunately. Uh, so, you know, that that's why, Alex. That's why. Yeah, but, like, what if I'm just indignant and mad about it and be like, somebody call 911. <laughs> Shorty fire burning on the kill me. Whoa. <laughs> But I, I just kind of want to be indignant about, like, why can't um person I'm into just sweep me off my feet and then be easy? Why not just be easy, huh? 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 Explain that, liberals. Explain, explain that. If socialism, if socialism good, then um why no goth girlfriend? Why no big titty goth girlfriend dummy mommy, huh? Hmm? 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 Checkmate. That's what I thought. Don't have an answer for that, do you? Do you? Gah. Ugh. Oh, no, it's at six. It's fine. Ah, come on, man. Okay. All right. We're getting the fuck out of here. Getting the fuck out of here. Do I start keeping the topaz? I probably should because they're gifts and I don't need to just spam money anymore. Yeah. 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 I don't have my uh, choke around. No. I actually... When I was in Arizona, I snapped that choker. Not in a fun way. Not in a fun way. I was drunk and I was trying to take it off. And I couldn't, so I just ripped the fucking thing off my neck. <laughs> Which, you know, 10 out of 10 uh, would love for somebody else to do. Um, maybe in a different way. But in many ways, clothing tearing seems sexy and fun. Until it's the next day, and this thing, this article of clothing that you liked, is now damaged. Fixing that was not fun. It wasn't that hard, but, like, I would have rather just not had to fix it. Damn you, tired, drunk Alex, who... 
was too fed up to deal with that properly. Are we done for the night? Yeah, we got one more day. Hey, authoritarians, why no commie mommy who will call me a good little comrade? Good little comrade, more like it. <laughs> Yo, know, it, it's- gender dysphoria is a weird thing, and gender is just a fuck, and is a made-up fucking nonsense thing anyway, right, to open up with, but if someone were to call me a good boy in a sexual context, it would probably turn me on. It has a lot in the past, when I was still using he, him, it probably still would now, if somebody called me a good girl. I think it'd take a while to get used to it, but I think I'd really like that too. I can't think of any, like, well, no, I immediately lied. I immediately lied. I was about to say, I can't think of, like, any gender-neutral things that I'd be okay being called. Nah, slut, whore, I, there's a lot of things that I would, I'm just gonna stop now because I can actually feel my cheeks flushing a little bit. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Nope. Nope. I thought I was gonna make a point, then I just realized I'm a dumb bitch, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Clearly, just about anything would work. If said in the right tone of voice, many things would work. Many things would work there. Yep. <laughs> But, but it is my point, my original point, uh, besides embarrassing myself, was I don't, you know, don't like he, him, don't like being called sir, don't like any masculine uh, attributions to me at all. But boy, as in B-O-I, feels good because of the way that's been gender fucked and twisted to mean several different things. Now, that feels good. What about nine feet tall vampire who calls you a man thing? Yeah, didn't do it. Didn't do it for me. She's, you know, she is a brick house, almighty mighty, a chick letting it all hang out. Like, very, you know, Lady D, she, she's hot, but I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. She's hot. End sentence. Big lady. I, I, for me, to get the, like, ooh, tall feeling has to be in person. It has to be in person. I don't really get that uh, through images. I don't really get that through media. But at the wedding I was at, there was tall lady who is very good dancer and very attractive and i was just like tall lady 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 she was married um her husband wasn't there though mm, but you know, uh, like i explained in the getting back from that trip video i wasn't there trying to frick. I was there trying to make sure my good buddy, who was getting married, was having a good time, and ain't nobody was bothering him with some bullshit. I was trying to make sure all the guests having a good time. But tall lady. Alex Peen Machine broke. Alex Peen Machine work fine. <laughs> Alex Peen Machine not broke. Not broke. Really, that's that's one hang-up uh, I've had for... Like, I, I've seriously considered... Um, estrogen. But, but, some trans women peen work fine. Some peen work fine, but can't come. Some can come but can't stay hard. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I really, I like my dick. I like my dick. It's, it's not a source of gender dysphoria for me. It's fun. Would, would it be nice to choose depending on the day? Totally. Oh my God. Yeah. But I, I like having it. 
I like it, and I like it being operable. And I know there, there are ways to both, like, be on estrogen and, like, use, uh, tea gel and stuff like that, but, like, mm, Just seems like so much goddamn work. I, like, the... What I would want out of estrogen is mostly, like, fat building on more... On parts of my body considered or typically interpreted as more feminine, i.e. dead ass, dem thighs, them hips, not so much tum. Um, though, you know, tum a little bit, but I don't really like how testosterone makes my body hairy fat. I don't like what testosterone does to my hair. I would love if my hair could just grow more slowly. Titty cool, but I don't know if I could pull off titty. I, I, you know... That's something to think about. But that's that's been a big reason why I'm like, eh, you know. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Haha, <laughs> funny piss stick is is good. Peen is good. Like have peen. I like it. My my dick has gotten very nice compliments from people clearly lying to me saying, oh my god, it's so big, and I'm like, no, it's not. It's like, unremark- it's remarkably average. It, it is not. Don't fucking lie to me. Two, that's the prettiest dick I've ever seen. That- That is one of the best compliments I have ever gotten. Because that- That- That just- Gender euphoria from that. Pretty and dick. Yes. Ding ding. Bo check. Check. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You have a pretty dick? Haha, ha, prove it, coward. You won't. <laughs> I, my reaction at the time was like, really? Why? <laughs> Thank you, but... What does that mean? I kind of get what they mean. I kind of get what they meant. Sort of. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. The the horny well is running dry. I I've talked about so much shit. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, you're like, what the fuck have you been talking about? You're you've only been doing this for like almost an hour. That's not that long, especially for you. And granted, true. But I just did damn near an hour long of horny talk islanders and i'm i'm running out man i'm running running dry i'm i'm shooting blanks ah oh, which is also something i need to do i definitely need to get a vasectomy because uh, like i don't want kids i don't want kids the the therapy or the therapy the surgery doesn't bother me doesn't bother me it's surgery I, I don't really want to watch any surgery being done on me, so, like, no better, no worse than anything else. The only reason I've waited this long to get a vasectomy is a lot of places won't let you get a vasectomy in the United States until you're 30. Motherfuckers are like, well, you don't know until you're 30 if you really want a family or not. This is a serious decision. Man, you should think about it and come back to me next year. Bitch, I don't want to knock anyone up. I haven't wanted to knock anyone up in the entire time I've been capable of doing it. it. Scares the hell out of me. I don't like feeling like every time I have sex, I'm playing with fire. We use protection, Alex. No protection is 100%. That scares the shit out of me. I beat like three forms of birth control to come into this world. I'm living proof that like you can do everything right and still have a kid. That scares the shit out of me. I don't want, I don't want, no, 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 no. Dick for fun. Come for fun, not for baby. We know produce, we know reproduce. We know reproduce in this house. Dick, dick just sex toy and urine implements. Don't, don't want it to be, uh, Part of the doorway into this existential hell for some unwitting life form. I'm good. I'm good on that account. 
I'll live. I'll live. I don't think we're making it to an hour. I'm almost out of energy and I don't have any more bullshit to do with the day. Yep, now we're out. I could eat food, but like, come on. I'm selling it. I'm selling it. Um. So how do, how do I want to wrap this up? Well, you know, we don't have to do that. How do I want to wrap this up thing? I have time to walk around and talk to people. Can burn a little bit more time. So I, I do think the stream's going to end here here at the end of this i'm gonna see who else is streaming because if pixie rat is streaming i'm absolutely gonna watch her uh and i'll probably end up hosting her as well because she is great very sweet and she is trying to stream every day for the rest of october in order to pay bills and she's been having some really good streams really lately getting people following and it's been very gratifying seeing her be so excited and happy seeing you know hope um no we, we like hope we like hope hope is nice uh where what where was i going with it oh yeah she's been streaming animal crossing so it's, it's very it's very relaxing so that's probably where i'm gonna go hey hey if you're watching this on youtube uh might i encourage you to if you partake in twitch.tv to go check out p-i-x-i-r-a-t on twitter and twitch because i'll tell you what she's a lot nicer about engaging with her audience than i am it's a lot more polite and sweet and like kind and chill vibes she doesn't go off on like weird political tirades she doesn't make a point out of trying to make three hours of horny content she's just like a good normal person <laughs> why are you watching this and so tomorrow and no 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 hold on hold on we're not doing the outro yet uh went to feed pets so probably moved on but i don't think i've ever called a dick pretty called peens cute yeah cute would feel I don't know if you say it the right way i could like it but reading it i don't like it but said the right way uh you could make me like it all right that's it youtube that's the horny note we're ending on you can make me like it if you try uh until tomorrow i guess uh i'm gonna say toodle take care see you then bye, -bye.